Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the last week. Previously, we entered some weird hallway where we're encouraged to be friendly with our fellow ghostly students. So, let's monitor our food levels. Let's not keep the camera on, because that doesn't seem to help us. Unless it does later. I, I don't know. I'm doing the minigame again. Let's not randomly swing. Because we already know what's, what happens when that... So this is why they give you the super soy milk. Hmm. It doesn't seem like my power is going down that much. Let's try it. No? Was it the swings that killed me or was it something else? It feels like it, but I could be wrong. Trophy. Well, they keep giving me... No, yeah, it's going down. It's not like a huge amount, but it's there. Kill the one of radical colors! They're not like us! We have definition! Okay, yeah, it's going way down real fast. So... Let's drink a soy milk for now. Do I... Do I kill the last one? Or do I just kill the ones with the techno colors? Alright, I'm killing you too. No, never mind, it was a trap! So me randomly swinging around, me randomly sprinting, and all this other stuff. I guess this is why, you know, my HP went down so fast, so... It's it's one of those mechanics where... I don't dislike it. Like, I, I feel like it's kind of smart to maybe have some limiting factor in the game. Um, especially, you know, when it's not a traditional thing where you have to, like, conserve ammo or whatnot. It's not, it's not done in the best way. But... I kind of like it, once I understood it a little more. It's very unexplained, I think that's probably... the issue. Not to say you need a big tutorial, but... You, you can theoretically mess up your game permanently. I think it's just this hallway in particular that seems to take away my... HP like mad. Okay. Don't go up! Okay. Got a trophy. Maybe it's the kills and not the swinging. I'm a little scared of that one. <laughs> yeah, because look, we're already at seven, so I think it's just a mechanic of this area. But theoretically, if you wasted all your soy milk ahead of time, you know, you'd be doomed. Let's be frank. We all take two hits now. Doesn't matter. I'm a very determined person. You're a winner! Oh my god. Give me that super soy milk. I need the super... The super soy milk. Not just any soy milk, the super one. Some great stuff. Okay, you're already almost dead. Drink some super soy milk, which they've gracefully supplied us. Oh god, we gotta go back. Can I save so I don't... Yeah, I can. Okay. So I don't have to like do this all in one go or anything. It's not like the platforming in the game. Who's left? Who's left? Nobody's left now. The trophy is mine, because I'm the best. The best at everything. All of you are just bloodstains. Bloodstains on the floor, because you weren't the best, unlike me. <laughs> well, that was close. Yeah, drink some soy milk. I prepare for this moment. This A super soy milk plus one?! I'm a legitimate. I was legitimately surprised by that. Wait till it moves. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it just meant like I gained one? Or does it? Do I have like special armor? There's some kind of skill here. It takes a hundred. 
of something. Mm, probably should drink the soy milk. Double check. This is such a weird little... Like, I don't understand the point of this. Does it mean like I murdered everybody? Like, it's just symbolism? This is my life. Wait one moment. This is just a way to like make me burn for soy milk. Let's just be frank. Let's just tell it like it is. Yeah, you've been saving up soy milk. I see that. I see that super conservative with items, Manly Badass Hero over there. Well, look, we got a nice little mini game for you, Mr. Manly Badass Hero. It's called Consume Your Items. That's what the mini game is called. We're not joking. So, no. I have to save this to the last boss. We're just about tapped out with soy milk. But I, I think it's over... Question mark? Oh boy, it's gonna be a pain if I had to complete that one first aid minigame correctly. Gotta do like the whole game again. I've done what you ask! That let me in! Congratulations. You won a terrible person award. Why is the door isn't open? <laughs> because it's a trap. Blackout again. Great. Are you happy? H who's there? I think you can remember me. The stupid that you leave to die? No. Or... Am I supposed to talk to you? Kate, wh why? You're going to ask me why I'm not dead yet? Surely I have no idea what's going on. When did you die? In the, the run area with the, like, the yellow? What's going on? For you, it might just be a few hours. Yes, it should be only that long. But in the frozen space, like Fittisat School, it's been many years. You tell me that. Your time has been frozen since then, too. Clever. Even though the calendar kept being changed, if it's still within the period of the last week, people who came inside the school and stuck in one of them will never be able to be get out from that day? Oh, oh no! The only one who can pass the next day is the one who changes the calendar. And that person is you, Napa. Wait, if you're saying that only me can get past, then how come you're here on Wednesday? I've been living here for the last 20 years. You wouldn't know. When I was stuffed in the detention room, I thought I was going to die. I said yellow stuff. Except I woke up in an old decrepit bridge. I looked around, but I didn't find a single person. I started spending my time on a search for an exit, and then I came across a certain room. A room that made me understand the answers to everything. I picked up a strange device from a victim's corpse, kind of connected to the school security system. Until I managed to make it out of the detention room. So then, why didn't you just escape from the school? It's not over yet. My objective is to graduate. After putting in twice the time and effort, I finally was able to interfere with the calendar system. But it looks like there's some technical hiccups, mainly you're alive. Never mind, I already made it today. It's payback time. What do you want? Seems like you're really desperate to survive. So much that you ditched your friend and ran off. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm murdering like shadow people. You think I understand? You think I intentionally ditch people, even though I would? You think I'm intentionally ditching you at that moment? Oh, well, whatever. Now you're the main character of the story. Yes, I am. Please give me a straight answer. Okay, plain and simple. From now on forever, I'll be on calendar duty, paying you back for what you did. So you don't have any use now, and can just go to hell. Duel! It's not working! The shovel doesn't work!
What is in the shovel work? I'm gonna have to like attack from behind. Yeah, I did. It's the Street Fighter. How's my HP holding up? It's there. Super mode. Dang it! Got too greedy. I think I lost. Yep. I don't understand. I'm sure I have to attack when you're not attacking me. Come on. You wanna go? I win. I was the one that survived. Hi, how you doing? You've lost. Why didn't it end up like this? Even though I tried so hard to make it to this point. The thing you're doing is not right. I know how much pain you've gone through, but... If you write me off like this, you'll be no different from what you hate. You can say that because you have the upper hand right now. No, I've always believed in that. Me, the person who beheaded some random ghost teacher or something in this school to just to solve a simple puzzle. I'm lecturing you on morality. Get used to it. This place. Some said it has some sort of curse possessing Illumina here. Black magic which corrupts the mind of students to compete against and kill each other. But I think these mysterious curses don't actually have that much power. The real instigator is our own selfishness. You've got a point there. You know how I acted all tough, saying I'll defeat you? I only did it to cover my own hopelessness. Even if I managed to open that door and escape, I'd be living alone in a future I don't know. It sounds pretty silly to have soap still, huh? Miss Kate. But you, though, you still have a chance. Even if I or other people bite it, I'd still hope that you'll be able to change things for the better. So, you're shouldering the most important responsibility. If you fail, you'll be bearing with the sorrow forever. I, I try my best to get past it. You'll save Vitas at school, promise? No. I mean, yes. Cross. I held Kate's hand with mine while using the other to wipe away the tears. The emotions began mixing deep in my heart that seemed to be getting filled up. Finally, I managed to get the words out of my mouth as I, as resolute as I could muster. I promise. Kate hugged me and I instantly hugged her back. We said goodbyes to each other, entrusting all hope to the wind of fortune. You win! The power of friendship. This is gonna be the place I changed the calendar. No, actually, no, where am I? Ooh, a candy. Got the page. The letter change. Yesterday, I abandoned a girl in a detention room. I thought she was already dead. It seems like she was telling me some kind of hint. I know. If she could do that, then there must be someone who must who lived there before. That person might be able to help us. So are you telling me like to get some kind of special ending I gotta go in the detention room? Cause I feel like that's what you're telling me. Well, time to start wandering around, figuring out where I'm going in life. No, 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 what are you doing here? No, I can't go! Do you ever say- As if realizing something, I walked up to the mysterious mascot, presumably called Rian D, without fear, having noticed that it looks weaker now. It's about time I know who's behind all of this. Old Man Willis! Oh, no. With all my strength, I jumped at the mascot, grabbing the head in hope of tearing it off. The cheap clothes that haven't been washed for over 20 years began to come apart, along with the second sound, UGH, which I didn't expect to hear. There's something inside. What do you want? I grabbed the arm to hold the mascot in place, but it was bigger than any human, so my grip meant nothing as I put no force into it. Even so, my eyes were still glaring at the mysterious person trying to hide his face behind his hands. His? I ask you, what do you want? Get out. Get out of the school, I'll, I'll kill you right now. The guy yelled at me hoarsely while he was shaking my grip off. The principal? After he broke free, the guy immediately floundered to get away, a stark difference from what he always did. 
Get back here, damn it! I feel like they kind of did a major spoiler, whether intentional or not. Where'd you go? What you afraid of? Ain't nothing to fear, I'm a nice person. Ooh, phone call. Well, that's a discipline office. Should I, should I have chased after the thing, or do I change the calendar? That's the question on life, isn't it? Well, let's just change the date. March 23rd, March 24th. Ah, oh, yes. Thursday. Also known as 4X Loki Fan Fiction Day. Day complete. See you tomorrow. <laughs> No, oh, we, 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 yeah. Hello there. It's that yellow liquid again. No. I'm escaping from you at a very fast, slow pace. Actually, no, I'm probably doomed. Or maybe not. And yeah, we're fine. You're just a little bit slower than us, which is good. Or are you? Hey, are you? Are you? You friendly? Let's leave this place. Yeah, let's go. It's, it's exactly, even down to the damn font, it's Freddy. I don't know. Oh boy. So what's in tail for us today? On this of Thursday. A cabinet. Read the letter. Please give up and go back if you don't want to suffer anymore. Just think of this as my request. But before that, I want to tell you one final thing. You should know about this since the first letter, I'm, but I'm sorry for not telling you that. By the time you're reading these letters, I'm already dead. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to discourage you, but now it's time to tell you the whole truth about me and the Vitasat school. I was a 47th year Illuminus. I was involved in the 1994 massacre, but I came back here two years after that. During the last three days, I was trying to solve all the mysteries. There were many people who had the same goal as me, but they all gave up and died. What a bunch of losers. The essence of all the mysteries is... They know, as if dead, do not want, trying to help with the binary and cycle, but still doing it even now. I'm sorry if what I wrote confuses you, my hands are shaking, it's coming. Be careful, goodbye, I'm so- When you see the last message, a long line made by the same pending, staying across the rest of the paper in an illegible red message. Illegible, rather. Good stuff. Really? You just had to do it. You have like, maybe drop my guard just for a brief moment there. They're like, oh, the player's probably gonna just go walk in the hallway and not care, not turn on their flashlight. All right, do we have to like turn on the lights again? Is this like a game we're gonna play? Knowing you, you probably have it permanently. Oh, here it is. Hi, what's up? Um. Okay, there we go. It's all good. Go in the damn... The damn cafeteria is gonna be dark and we're gonna get jumped. Half expected that to happen. Get some super soy milk. Okay, we're ready to roll. Let's... Let's dig out the solution. You know, look, the crack in the ground is gone. That's actually... A little small detail. Well, let's figure out where we're going. That's a new person. Hi. 
Final exam papers. They're gone. If there's no exam, how will there be a graduation? Ooh. We're being keyed in on something on the plot. Schools out. This is an announcement for the exchange student, Miss Kamika Visanu, Kate Wilson. Miss Kamika, once you've read this message, please come to the Foreign Language Department immediately. Foreign Language Department, where's that? Do 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 uh. Key number 132, gun battery. Batter up! Okay. No! I see I must use the video recorder again! Damn, this game... This game is just a series of, you should have done this! Oh good, they're moving around now. Wait, 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 wait! Okay. I can breathe easy. Are you a bad ghost, or are you a good ghost? See, the thing is, I don't know the distinction in this world. Eh, whatever. Hoo-hoo-hooey! <laughs> Batteries came low. Oh, I see why they gave us a battery now. Library is locked. Here we go. I hear a clock running. I should probably save. Instruction. Make the sum of the numbers in the table... Table? Equal to 15 without using the same number twice. Equal to 15? There's already... Can I at least adjust the ones that are there? No, I can't. So... Oh, you want me... Is it like the rows? Like one, two, three? Or it could be like this. I mean, like, that maybe both ways. It's one of those puzzles. You gotta make them up to 15 in both directions. I don't know. There's one of the ways this puzzle could be. Uh, I'm gonna try each one in my head. Let's try this. I'm just gonna assume the rows have, just have to add up. Make this one. Make this a four. And what number do we have left? Three. Well, that's not correct. Close, though, if I'm if I'm doing the puzzle correctly. So that should be the 15 going down, and then the top row. That should be this should be correct right here. But it isn't. I'm either reading the puzzle completely wrong, or I'm missing something in my head. Don't tell me it's diagonals too. Okay. I just had to change it a little bit. I was on the right track. So it was the diagonals. Huh. So it was every single possible way you could do it. Okay. What do we got? A stack of test papers. Oh, we can do the test now. Great! Everyone's gonna love it. I have the test papers. Thank you. Got page of the calendar. School calendar end? Dang, I hate this only now. Well, let's go. Hopefully it's just straightforward and it's not locked. Activate it. It's Friday, Friday. Wait. Dang it, Kate, you broke the system, I remember. Kate? 
paid. Oh my god, what did they do to you? You lay have been cramming books into your head. I've been preparing for tests, but this just takes you to the next level. Miss Kate. What lied before me was a soulless body of the unfortunate exchange student. I was unable to look at her any longer than I did. Man, my flashlight's dying. During these three days, I've seen so many people die because of my selfishness. It's just as the letter said. I should abandon everything and run away by now. But I made a promise to Miss Kate. If I broke it, she'll be terribly sad. That's why. Huh? Something caught my attention that I had to look back at her. It's a solid object lying on the floor, reflecting the dim light. Got Kate's phone. A phone. Wait! I need to keep that on. He hiding in the dark. He always watching you? Do you learn anything more about the mastermind? A present box of a blue ribbon. Open it to determine everything. <laughs> Man, that's a bit of a bug. Barry keeps ringing during cutscenes, so you wake up and you die. Blue box. Oh, great. Here we go again. I'm sorry. Does the rule still apply that that one door is a trap? I just want to question this while I'm here. Some kind of puzzle. Choose or die. Well, well that's confusing. Which one's the choose option? Am I, am I picking the culprit? Yay! The room suddenly turned black as I passed out yet again. Waking up, I went straight to par all the evidence. It's true that everything is possible in Vitasat, but behind all the chaotic phenomena, there's definitely someone controlling them. I began to understand something when I stared into those security cameras, like I was looking at the master of mine behind the curtain right in the eyes. Although I still can't wrap my head around it, what good would come of keeping Illuminati such a turbulent seat within the abandoned school? Nevertheless, I have found much important evidence that makes everything clear. Eventually, I made up my mind and walked up to one of these peeping devices. You're looking at me right now, aren't you? Security camera does nothing. Obviously so. Can I ask you something? Why are you caging us? Why trap us within this frozen space? I know I can't do anything to you right now. But before Friday, before everything ends, I swear I'll drag you out of your hiding place. Things were suspicious since your death. On Tuesday, Molly found a corpse of a security guard falling from the ceiling while moving the empty frame. The corpse was in a state beyond recognition, so Molly couldn't help but assume it was her father's. However, it was all a setup. From the information on the ID card, it's clear that it belongs to another security guard recently hired. That leads to the question, why didn't the mastermind use Mr. Wally's corpse? If the mastermind intended to terrorize Molly, he could have done so, since Mr. Wally died on Monday. Or was there no corpse all along? It's not very hard to play dead and deceive someone. You just took the chance while I went inside the teacher's office to set everything up. Then when I got back from the room, surprise! Mr. Ali was dying as he entrusted the key to me. It did happen after I was chased. Clearly it was your intention that I survived and came back here the next day. Or perhaps it was all for you to appear innocent. I can't really tell. But I'm certain that Molly's death is not fake. You're with the one behind this imprisonment, you dang on Rampa ripoff. The one contemplating every mystery for some aim. Mikuru Ukus Ukusaba or something. Mikuru Ukusawa. I don't remember. You went as far as to kill your own daughter, at the mention deceiving her. The one I wanna know is what exactly is your objective? Mr. Wally. Hmm, we're back here. It's so real quick, I want to see what happens if I go through the other door. It's a trap. 
Yeah, I want to see why I choose someone else. Now, you kind of gave it away by using... Referring to the press of the mask as a he. Bit of a translation kind of thing. <laughs> but... The, the, the suspect was me! You win. Death! 